What's up, guys? On the in motion B12 out here in some wow, incredible dude. terrain, and I'm giving it a redemption shot trail riding. And this is the new little beast of a unicycle from in motion. And this thing is just, it has everything on it, man. It has all the bells and whistles. It has your speed you need. It has the power. Every little feature on it is top quality. I love the LCD display. We're still having incredible little power on this thing. And guys, what a unique ride. So with a 16 inch wheel in an environment like this, where you're in the woods riding around, I've never had anything comparable, and I know I keep saying this, but I changed up the terrain, and this right here, guys, had to be my favorite day of riding in a long, long time. This was just perfect. This is what I love right here. This is the, this is the type of thing I like to do. I like to be away from cars, just out in nature, away from all the hustle and bustle, just being able to cruise and do my own thing, and this unicycle right here really it trail rides good actually guys it, it was impressive and a lot of the little things that that i was able to adapt to on this thing i ended up liking a lot with that initial little torque and power there this thing is great because with between each obstacle from obstacle a to obstacle b you have rocks here you have roots there you want to be able to slow down and then you want to be able to speed up and everything in between and this wheel right here makes doing that as many times as you need to in a trail like this it makes it easy it makes it fun it makes it in a situation where you're not having to really lean too hard into it and this thing is just super playful it just feels like you're out cross country skiing through some some great trails this thing really nails it on the head it does it well see me right here we got some snow runoff coming down the rocky mountains right here and it is delicious water it is super clean the only it is just snow caps up there coming straight down through a little bit of shrubbery right there and i got one of those uh water filters i'll link some in my amazon store down below where you can check out an assortment of water filters a guy over at the company model m-o-d-l sent me the water bottle kit that had that filter in it so if you want to check out his water bottles you can do that as well but that's just one of those little little water bottle or little filters you can get like a sawyer straw or whatever Again, I'll have a, a few of those in my Amazon store below, but that's good to have in your pocket if you're going on trail rides like this and you don't want to carry a water bottle, which is just extra weight. I was just trying to go as minimal as possible with what I needed on this ride because I was doing, I got to use the hips, man. I got to use every bit of the body. I got to really be juking and jiving on a trail like this, especially if I'm trying to get some good footage of it, you know, and be really, really agile on a little machine like this. You know, I can't have water bottles jangling around and a backpack and all that stuff. It really helps me minimal and a water filter like that in the pocket is just exceptional if you know you're going to be riding somewhere where you can access water. Also, if you can roll up like a little, um, one of those little foldable water bottles, that's good to have too, in case you need to transport some of that water with you. And then you're super minimal. But anyways, this V12 right here, man, is incredible for that little stuff from hopping from little thing to little thing. And those high pedals, man, are awesome for getting over rocks and being able to have that clearance where you're not gonna scrape little things on the side and, and whatnot. It's a light enough weight wheel where you can transport it over rocks and different terrain like this if you need to. If you need to dismount, pick the wheel up and transport it over something, it's not like those heavier weight wheels. You can really do it easier with this guy right here. Anyways, I, love, I also love the headlights on it. They just really look good and a lot of the videos I have it on, just because it looks good at nighttime, they're really, really bright, man. These headlights are really, really bright. The features on it are great. The, everything about this wheel, I'm really, really loving it, guys. And just for this thing to be able to off-road like this as well as it does, I think this really, this really proved this little wheel right here as a do-it-all wheel. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this thing as a first-time wheel or even adding it you know, to your collection. Like I said, you really can't. It's, it's a great wheel. So when it comes to range on this wheel, you're probably wondering, okay, with an aggressive wheel like this, where it's, you, you're getting like massive acceleration on trails like this, or you're trying to, you know, go up obstacles and rocks and hill climbs, elevation gain, everything in between, you may think that it's just running down that battery. Man, you can go on 
there has not been a single time where I've rode this wheel really, where I've just gone out on like a, a trail ride or something like that, where you know you're just going out to um, out to a, a specific trail or something. You're not going on like a long haul across town or anything like that. There hasn't been a single time where I've trail rode this thing where I've gotten back and it's been below like 76 percent and that's just incredible guys and i don't know how long i've been riding on this i really don't measure it but i can just tell you comparable to other wheels like i've been riding it's impressive don't really worry about the range on this thing because it is there and even as much as i ride guys i haven't even run this thing all the way dead there hasn't been a day where i've gone out and i haven't done a extreme range test on it like i normally do but i can just tell you from what I know and from how much I've ridden, this thing is consistent and the quality of, of range you're getting out of this thing is there. For the light, for how light it is, it's there. What I love about these, the smaller wheel and then also having that performance there guys, is it adds that fun factor back to it of like small like scale trailing, you know? The bigger stuff or whatever, yeah, you're just kind of cruising through no problem. But with this, it adds a dynamic where you got to put your hips into it, man. You really got to get that center of gravity low. Your hips got to be into it. And each little thing matters with the rocks, with every little thing you're crossing. And, dude, it really does add a lot of fun to it. I really enjoy this thing with the trail riding, with everything I've done with it so far. It's just fun, man. I really do. I think it's just all around it works, man. It really does work. And the these power pads right here, I don't even have them as low as I would like to. I'd like to have them a little bit lower. The These are the Clark pads. I have the EUC side pads I put on here. Dude, those look really, really good. And they would have looked awesome with this jacket combo right here because they're the orange uh, side pad governors I have as well. And I like the side pads too. The side pads actually, they, I mean, they look aggressive on it. They look good. But anyways, with this jacket too and that I'm wearing right here, you might be wondering, and these pants also, those are from Fall Raven. Or Fjall Raven, however you want to say it. That's the sweetest version. But it's Swedish outdoor clothing. It's really high quality stuff. And they got a lifetime warranty pretty much on everything. Oh, yes. They'll sew it up. They'll keep it going if, if they need to or replace it. This but is this awesome. is the Abisco Midsummer Jacket right here. And it is super high quality. This isn't like some run of the mill like North Face or something Dude. like that. This is some super high quality so jacket. Cool. And it's, I got it over this my arm. Beautiful. I got this small right here. I'm 130 pounds, like 5'6". Yeah, and I got it over the um, small, like just cheap Amazon motorcycle armor. And it works really good. It's, it stays cool in the summertime. It keeps the mosquitoes off whenever I'm stopping. And I got a hood on there as well, so I can put that on and just keep the mosquitoes off. It's thin and super breathable. It's, it does not feel like a jacket at all. I wear it out, and people look at me like I'm an idiot in the summertime with it. Uh, you know, if I'm wearing it into a, a store or something like that. But I, it really is cool, man. Like, it, it, it breathes really well, and you unzip those pockets, and it breathes in there nice. So I like it for riding. It really works out well. I really do enjoy this thing, that jacket for riding. Like, and so I, I enjoyed their clothes so much, and they were just expensive as all get out. And I know they are, but I'm saying they're really quality. So if you get it, if you get some of their clothes, like the Vita Pro pants I'm wearing right here, or this jacket, you'll enjoy it. You know, and like I honestly, I enjoyed the clothes before I even asked about you know a, a partnership or anything with them. So definitely check them out. I got all that stuff again in my Amazon store below. You can literally click that Amazon store and do really check it out. It's cool. Like if, if I saw a YouTuber that you know that I, I followed and they had like an Amazon store of their different stuff they liked, I'd, I'd check it out. You know, I got literally all kind of different categories and stuff for unicycles, different things I like for outdoors, flashlights, you name it, all on there. And anything you get from that gives it a little kickback to the channel. And if you already got unicycles, it's a good way to support it. Furthermore, with this in motion b12 guys if you're if i kind of gave it a, a bad score you know before i took it on a, another trail like this and with the trail riding and i really do like it i think it nails it nails it man it really is fun it definitely is not going to cruise like if i was on the sherman on this trail man i'd probably just be able to go faster and tank over stuff and just and just cruise but with this i'm really having fun i'm developing as a rider I'm using my core muscles. I'm getting a, I'm getting a great exercise on this, man. With the, the core muscle engagement on this, you got to think, man. You got to think of it like 
the upper, if you just look at just like the core right here and how much the core is working riding this thing. And it's, yeah, if you do it for 5, 10, 15 minutes, that's no big deal. But you, if you get on one of these and you're riding for two or three hours, you got to think, you're doing a core workout for two to three hours of the day. And you, I'm telling you, the first, the first day you go and do something like this or a trail ride or something like this or even attempt it, you're going to be sore the next day. Your core is going to be sore. But this is a great way to exercise and not know you're exercising. For me, at least, I love it. And then I don't even know that I'm exercising. And I got abs of steel from it. Orders are live now for the InMotion B12. You don't want to miss it. They're going to be shipping out in August. So you want to be the first ones to get this. Go ahead and get in that pre-order. They are sick. This is it with the side pads right here. And I think it really looks good with those as well. Get a discount on side pads. Link below in that link tree. Click that link tree, guys. You can go to e-rides and rev rides also. Click that link tree to get your discounts and also check out that Amazon store below. I'll see you guys in the next one.